and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, welcome to day three, day three of 10-day health challenge, Daniel fast, and morning battle prayer. We give God all the praise. We give him all the glory. He has brought us to day number three. What an awesome God we serve. Ladies and gentlemen, I love the word of the Lord when David said in Psalm 3 verse 5, I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. Father, thank you for sustaining each and every one of us. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Lord, this morning we've gathered together to seek your face, O oh God. We've gathered together to cry out to you, O oh God, for a new heart and for you, O oh God, to cleanse us, O oh God. A new heart, O oh God, and cleanse us. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Let's just take a moment. Let's worship him uh, for just a few minutes. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the honor. Father, we bless you. And your family, and your children, and their children, and their children, may you save us, and you and your family, and your children, and their children, Your 
God, we honor you. Mighty God, we adore you. For you are for us. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, we bless your holy name. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name, O King of kings. Blessed be your name, O King of glory. We thank you, precious Holy Spirit. We cannot do without you. You are welcome in this place. The spirit of revelation. The spirit of righteousness. The spirit of mind. The spirit of understanding, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. Oh, we welcome you, the spirit of glory. Oh, the spirit that anoints. We welcome you, precious Holy Spirit. Have your way in this place. Be glorified. Be magnified. We exalt you. We bow before your supremacy. We bow before your majesty. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. In the next uh, 30 seconds, just pray in your heavenly language as I get ready to introduce the speaker uh, this morning, just go ahead and begin to pray your heavenly language. Libra do zate vredo shavas, libra do zade vere. Madish, pray in your heavenly language. Libra kadosha, leberedes, le pandora mas, leberedosh, libra do zade redes, libra do zade rada, mande kateradash, kateradova, libra do kaba, lebered, hallelujah, zate redesh, malate, libra do katerada, libra. Mighty God, we bless you, we honor you, we adore you. Thank you. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Father, we bless you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. Ladies and gentlemen, as I get ready to introduce the great man of God that is going to lead us this morning in the word of the Lord and in prayer, I just want to remind everyone that's a quick housekeeping endeavor to read a scripture, which is Proverbs chapter 7 to 10. Read the word of the Lord, meditate upon it, and don't forsake the physical aspects of this journey. Mighty God will bless you. The physical aspect of this journey involves ego, drinking water, exercising, and staying with Daniel past meal in the break of fast. Mighty God will give you praise. The instruction for that for today is on page 37 of the book. Mighty God will bless you with your praise. Give God the glory. And feel free throughout the day to go through the instructions in the book, all the prayer points in the book, the declarations in the book, and just pray and declare it. But at this moment, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, I'm going to introduce a great man of God, someone God is using mightily across the globe. Uh, the Lord is using him and his wife greatly. It's no other person that a great friend a friend of the ministry, Dr. David Harabedian. He's an author, teacher, speaker, and the founder of the Virtual Church Media. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, join me, welcome a great man of God, Dr. David. Dr. David, are you there? I am here. Can everyone hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you, man of God. All yours. Oh, thank you so much, Pastor George and Summer, and we're so proud of you guys for both being book authors, getting the Word of God out, 
and we're excited about what God's going to do today because he's going to set us free from the root cause of our issues, and we're going to get into that in a second. I want my lovely wife, Joanna, to sing a Hebrew blessing to set the atmosphere and the tone. Okay, good morning, good morning. So, Father, we thank you for the Hebrew blessing, which means blessed is the Lord our God, King of the universe. Blessed is your holy name. Adonai loves you, and he's healing your land. So, Lord, I thank you for your presence. I thank you now for healing the land of your people as they are turning to you. Baruch Hashem Adonai Eloheinu Leulam Baruch Hashem Adonai Eloheinu Leulam Ani Ohev Ohokta Ani Ohev Ohokta I love you so, says the Lord And I'm healing your land Amen Thank you Amen, thank you Joanna Wow, what a nice presence we have. I'm proud of everybody on this call who's committed unto the Lord to walk this out. And whatever we invest in the kingdom, and you are vessels of the kingdom, when you invest in your own health and commitment to the Lord, it's an eternal investment. It goes down to your generation. As I was in prayer this morning, the Lord began to speak to me about sharing a teaching on how to get free from the root cause of all sin, which is iniquity. The Bible says in Psalm 66, 18, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. What is iniquity? I want to share this with you. Iniquity, sin, and transgression are not the same thing, but they are a triple braided cord that results in the same effect. Jeremiah 33, verse 8, I will cleanse them. This is God speaking. I will cleanse them. That's you. That's me. That's our children. I will cleanse you from all your iniquity. And I would encourage you to take some notes today because this is going to go fast and you're going to say, I wish I'd have heard that. If you want to just make some notes, take a, you can type it into your phone. You can write it down on a pad of paper. Our keynote verse, Jeremiah 33 verse 8. We're talking about the difference between iniquity, sin, and transgression. The difference between iniquity, sin, and transgression. And we're going to go into the original word, and we're going to bring this thing home, and we're going to pray a prayer, and God is going to break iniquity cords out of us today. And we're no longer going to miss the mark, sin. We're going to hit the bullseye. Say amen in your heart on that one. Jeremiah 33, verse 8, And I will cleanse you from all your iniquity, whereby you have sinned against me. And I will pardon all your iniquities, whereby you have sinned, and whereby you have transgressed against me. Three words in one verse. Iniquity, sin, and transgression. Once again, iniquity, sin, and transgression. So, the word iniquity, we're going to break this down, and you're going to find that you're going to get so free. Iniquity is the Old Testament word, avon, kind of like ding-dong, avon calling, avon. 
Strong's 5771. Iniquity is defined as perversity, moral evil, mischief, to do wickedly, to be larcenous, to want to steal, to distort, to turn upside down, to deviate, or be depraved. The root for word for iniquity is Strong's 5753, which is ava, which means bent or crooked, twisted, like wicker furniture. I want you to wrap this word picture that iniquity is bent or crooked, like wicker furniture. It's that bent nature on the inside of us that causes us to miss the mark. If you had an arrow and you went to hit a bullseye with the arrow and the arrow was bent, regardless of how good of an archer you were, it would cause you not to hit the bullseye. You would miss the mark. Or if you had a long barrel rifle and the rifle barrel was bent and you went to shoot at the target, you wouldn't hit the bullseye because the barrel is bent. I'm going to submit to you today that many of us, many of you on this call, have been trying to hit the bullseye. You've been trying to stay on track, but God is saying you've got a bent nature, and he wants to set you free so that you can hit the target with him repeatedly. He's proud of you for making every effort to hit the mark and to stay on track. The good news is God is going to take the bent and crooked nature out of you today supernaturally and it's going to be effortless. Isaiah 45, 2 says, God will make the crooked path straight. Isaiah 45, 2, God will make the crooked path straight. Where was Saul of Tarsus, who was out killing Christians, when Jesus met him on his road to Damascus and blinded him by the light and knocked him to the ground? Ananias was told in the book of Acts, to go lay hands on Saul, and you'll find him on a street called Straight. When Jesus appeared to Saul on the road to Damascus, he knocked him off his high horse of pride. He blinded him with the light. And where did he get set free from his iniquity drive? On a street called Straight. The wicked, crooked nature in him was supernaturally changed, and then he became a mighty man of God that wrote two-thirds of the New Testament. The word transgression, remember we're talking about the word iniquity, sin, and transgression. So the word for transgression is the word pasha, the Old Testament Hebrew word pasha, strong, 65 86, transgression is defined as a conscious revolt, willful rebellion, quarrel, to break away from just authority, to rebel against it, to cast off an allegiance, to apostatize, to transgress, or refuse correction. Said another way, transgression is intentional rebellion against the known will of God. It's very different than having a bent or crooked barrel on your arrow or on your barrel of your gun, and you're trying to hit the mark, but you're missing. This is, I'm going to shoot at something else. I'm going to shoot at my friends with my mouth. I'm going to eat spiritual gunpowder in the morning and shoot off my prophetic mouth the rest of the day without love. That's transgression. And the third one is sin. And sin is a word which means simply to miss the mark. And when we miss the mark, what happens is 
we've sinned. And I'm going to share with you, sin is if you shot a basketball and you missed, that would be a miss. That's a, that's a sin. If you, if you drew iron and it bounced off the rim, that is missing the mark. If you shoot an arrow and you miss the bullseye, but you hit the, it's missing the mark. We talk about sin so much, but we never talk about the root cause of all sin or the spirit of sin or what causes us to sin, which is iniquity. So sin is defined in the Old Testament Hebrew as kata, Strong's Old Testament 2403. Sin, miss, miss the way, go wrong, incur guilt, or to forfeit our benefit. Sin is defined in the New Testament Greek as hamartia, Strong's New Testament number 266. It's that which is done wrong, sin, offense, a violation of the divine law in thought or in act to miss the mark. If I was playing tennis and I served the ball and it didn't go into the server square on the other side of the net, that would miss the mark and it would be a fault. If I did it a second time, it would be a double fault, and I would forfeit the point. My opponent wouldn't have to do any work for me to forfeit the point, and if I did that repeatedly, I would double fault out of the game and even out of the match. The devil loves when we sin because we forfeit the game, he doesn't have to do anything if he can get us to sin. Isaiah 59, verse 2, but your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Notice the word iniquity has separated between you and your God. The iniquity is the root cause of all sin, or the spirit of sin, or what causes the bent or crooked nature to cause you to miss the mark. But I've got good gospel news for you, because John one twenty nine says, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world, because Jesus comes in to get the iniquity out. Isaiah 53, 5, but Jesus was wounded for our transgressions. Remember the rebellion? He was bruised for our iniquities, the bent or crooked nature on the inside of us. The chastisement of our shalom peace was upon Jesus, and with his stripes that he took on his back, we are healed. Isaiah 53. Three, five. And if anyone is in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5.17, he is a new creation, a new species of being. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And Jesus changed your DNA at the born again experience. You got no longer the DNA inherited from Adam, but you get the DNA, the divine nature of the Almighty that lays hold inside of you and begins to set you free as you work out your salvation with fear and trembling It's God who works it in you, both to do and to will of his good pleasure. And so as you work out your salvation, you're born again, your name's in the Lamb's Book of Life by grace. But God wants to get his nature fully developed on the inside of you so that he springs forth where Peter's shadow heals the sick, where the Apostle Paul's handkerchiefs and aprons that are taken from his body are taken to people 
and there's such an anointing that's transferred where Moses comes off the mountain and his face shows like a, a glory of God on his face. He has to put a, a, a towel or a veil over his face because he shines so bright because he's been with Lord. God wants to transform you from grace to grace and strength to strength and from glory to glory as he causes the path to grow brighter and brighter as he fills and floods you on the inside and you cast off the old nature and put on the new which is renewed in the knowledge of him. This is why you're fasting. This is why you're putting the old nature down and the new nature is arising on the inside of you where you're no longer conformed to the pattern of this world, but you're being transformed through the renewing of your mind that you might know what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So when the enemy speaks to you, you'll say, no, that's not the voice of God. It doesn't line up with the nature of God. It doesn't line up with the word of God. It's not what Pastor George or Pastor Summer or Pastor David, it's not what people have taught us that line up with the word of God. It doesn't feel right. And there's something on the inside of me that's rising up. And it's no longer an iniquity drive, but it's a drive of righteousness. Because God takes out our heart of stone in Ezekiel chapter 36. He says, I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean. God does that work. I will cleanse you from all your iniquities impurities and all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit inside you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh and I will put my holy spirit in you and move you from the inside to follow my decrees and to keep my command. Ezekiel 36 verse 25 through 27. King David says, O oh God, Psalm 51, verse 10 through 12, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of my salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Psalm 51, verse 10 through 12, NRSV version. And Pastor George, I want to ask this back to you, and we want to enforce the promises of God in earth as it is in heaven, and God is going to set people free as we pray from iniquity drives that caused them to miss the mark at no fault of their own, but at the fault that they were born in. We were brought forth in iniquity and in sin did our mother conceive us. I have Psalms 51, 5. God, we were conceived in, in iniquity and sin, but the good news is this. Jesus gives us a new nature. Jesus comes in and cleanses us from the sin. Jesus gets the iniquity out. And I want to close with this. I had an iniquity issue for 13 years as a Christian. I wouldn't yield to that thing, but it was in me. Abstinence is you're not doing it, but there's something in you that wants to. Deliverance is you've been set free and you have no desire for that thing again. So for 13 years, I fasted. I prayed. I read the Word. I sang. I preached. I prophesied. I did the word of, word of God. I did the work of the Lord, but there was something in me that was an iniquity cord. And Prophet Rob Sanchez, who came that one day that I was speaking with my wife at your wonderful church in, in San Francisco, and he had come in where I was at at a prison, and he came to pray for different people, and I said, would you pray for me? And he put his hand up and put his hand on my head just to pray a blessing over me, and all of a sudden, it just came out of his mouth. Iniquity, I burst your power. And he pulled his hand back. It shocked him. It was the Holy Spirit on the inside of him spoke to that iniquity cord in me that I inherited through Adam. 
and I was free in an instant. And everything was different. The things that I fought, I no longer had to fight because there was nothing in me. Jesus said in John chapter 14, I believe it's verse 30 and 31, the prince of this world is coming and he's judged for he has nothing in me. There was nothing that Jesus had in common with the devil. And when you don't have anything in common with the enemy, he doesn't have any power to tempt you in that area. So today, I'm going to tell you this. Good gospel news. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And so God is about to break the iniquity cord that have hindered you, the bent or crooked nature. He's about to cause the rebellion, the transgression, to come out of you supernaturally. And you're going to start to hit the ball, God, because of grace. Because Jesus paid the price. He has shed blood. It set you free from iniquity, transgression, and missing the mark which is sin. And his washing of the water of the Word of God today has refreshed you. Are you ready? Pastor George, I want to pass it back to you. Mighty God, mighty God. Thank you so much, Dr. David. Thank you so much. Mighty God, we bless you. We honor you. We receive this word right now. We give you all the praise. I just want to hear your voice. Everyone begin to speak your heavenly language. Receive this word. Receive it in your spirit as we continue. Continue to pray. Just begin to pray your heavenly language. Libre do cite ferado celebrando caparadas. Mali Fredosa de Beleza, Maga de Verundi Keperadas, Mighty God, Mighty God, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, let the Rados, the Fredosa, the Caparade, the Beredo, Zendi Keperosa, the Prado Shabarini, the Prado Zendi Keperosa, the Cagarade, the Keperede, the Peruda, Maluso Peredes, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us stand in the Mighty God, we bless you, we honor you. Allah Maradi Teredes, let us rule Pray your heavenly language. Pray your heavenly language. Mighty God, we bless you. Mighty God, we honor you. Thank you for your word. We receive your word this morning. Oh God, we receive your word this morning. Malati Veredes, Savalides. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Meperados. Thank you, Father. Now I want you to begin to pray. We have received the word. I want you to begin to pray so in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every iniquity be broken off of me. Hallelujah. Let that be your prayer right now. Begin to pray. Say, oh God, let every iniquity be broken off of me in the name of Jesus Christ. I got to hear your voice. Just cry out to the Lord. Say, oh Lord, let every iniquity be broken off of me. Yes, Lord God Almighty, let every iniquity be broken off of me. Let that be your prayer right now. Let that be your prayer. Lord God Almighty, let every iniquity be broken off of me in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, break the iniquity. Oh, your spirit of iniquity will break you off of your life. We break your stronghold. We break your stronghold. We Break your stronghold off of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you, spirit of iniquity. We command you to lose your grip and hold off of our being, off of our soul, off of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Mighty God, we bless your holy name, O God. Maza de Vereza, Mazi de Verada, Mele de Verada, Sike de Rosh, De Pratus, Marade, Marade, O Verada, Zipre Bosch, Malik de Verada, Barade, Ben de Veradus. Hallelujah, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, just the word that doc, Dr. David gave in Isaiah 59, uh, verse 1, he says, Behold, the Lord's hand is not shut in, that he cannot save, nor his ear heavy, that he cannot hear, but your iniquities have separated you from your God. Mighty God, there is no more separation. Now that we have bro- we have broken all the spirit of iniquity off of us, no more separation in the name of Jesus Christ. The next prayer I want us to pray in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. Say, Oh Lord, I repent from every sin. Oh God, I repent from every sin. Wash me with your precious blood. I repent from every sin. Lord, every sin that I have committed, I confess it before you, knowing and unknowingly, and I repent from it, and wash me with your precious blood. It says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Uh, John, first John chapter 1 verse 9. Uh, so I want you to begin to pray. Say, oh Lord, forgive me of all my sins, oh God. I repent from it, oh God. I confess it to you, knowingly and unknowingly, and let your precious blood wash me and make me whole again. I got to hear your voice begin. Prayer, begin to pray that prayer. Lord, I repent. I confess my sins and I repent. In the name of Jesus Christ, I confess my sins and I repent. Mighty God, Lord, we confess our sins and we repent, O oh God. Lord, you promise us that if we confess our sins, you are faithful. You are faithful. You are a just God to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Lord God Almighty, purify us this hour. Purify us. Purify our heart. Purify us. Purify us. Purify us, mighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Let red be shavalado. Let the red be zinke teruda vash. Mighty God, we bless your holy name, O God. Bless your holy name. Maka taparado, libra do shavalado. Malite the red, zinke teruda, libra do. Mighty God, we bless you, we bless you, we honor you, we adore you. Maravanados, Sevenides, Libradus, Ate Veredus, Malika Terez, Lefragadash, 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 O God, O God, every generation has seen, forgive us, O God, every generation has seen, forgive us, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless your holy name, O oh God. We worship you. We honor you. We adore you, mighty God. We adore you, mighty God. We adore you, mighty God. Thank you, Father. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us. Wash us, O oh God. Paradu, paradu. Lefredus. Libereda. Pray, pray, pray. Don't be quiet. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God. Oh God. No more sin in our life. Sin shall be far from us. No more sin in our life. Sin shall be far from us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God Almighty. Sin shall be far from us. 
from what the man of God gave to us this morning. I want you to pray and say, Oh Lord, my Father, my Father, good God Almighty, remove transgressions from us. Remove transgressions from our life. Oh God, remove transgressions from our life. Let that be your prayer right now. Say, Oh God, remove transgressions from my life. Remove transgressions from my family. Lord, remove transgression from us, oh God. Mighty God, remove transgression from us because you were wounded for our transgressions. Oh, I got to hear your voice begin to pray. Say, Oh God, remove transgressions. Remove transgression from my life. Remove transgression from my family. Open up your mouth and pray. He was wounded for our transgressions. Begin to pray. Say, oh God, remove transgression from my life. Remove transgression from my family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, remove it, oh God. Paladosa Ritos, Libra Dosa Laveredes, in the name of Jesus Christ, let that be your prayer, let that be your prayer. Mala Tedredes, Libra Dos, Libra Dos, Zedekeruda, mighty God will bless you. Mighty God we honor you. <laughs> mighty God we adore you. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Libra de Shabalado. Libra de Redos. Letrada. 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 Zete de Rodavas. Malite de Redes. Mighty God. We honor you, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Let that be your prayer. Let that be your prayer. Mighty God, we honor you. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Marado Velidebes, as we continue to pray, I just want to read this portion from the book as we continue to pray. It says, one of the most neglected areas when it comes to health and wellness is the heart. We tend to focus on every other area, but the main one, the heart, is left behind. The nucleus from which life issue arise is not purified. Today we are going to focus on the heart and that is what we are doing ladies and gentlemen when you pray for your transgressions to be removed when you confess your sin when you break the bond of iniquity you are purifying your heart uh, the word of the Lord says keep your heart with all diligence for out of it spring the issues 
of life. Uh, just like the man of God says, uh, the reason most of you have not received your breakthrough is because you have not dealt with this issue, the issue of iniquity, the issue of sin, and the issue of transgression. Once you deal with it, you begin to see breakthrough in your life. Father, we bless you, we honor you, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor. Alivere, ziperado, zeverada, leprendo caparades, liparado seferada, lipredos. I want you to pray, say, oh God, remove every evil thing from my heart. Remove every wicked thing from my heart. Remove everything oh, that does not give you glory. Remove it from my heart. Because the word of the Lord says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it. So this morning, let that be your prayer. As you fast today, examine your heart. Some of you, you have bitterness. Some of you, you have unforgiveness. Some of you, you have offense. It's right there in your heart. Some of you, the, the, there are the things of the past you can't let go. But today, you are going to be able to let go because sin is has been broken off of you. Uh, iniquity has been broken off of you. Transgression has been broken off of you. Now is the time for you to say, Oh God, purify my heart, oh God. Purify my heart. Let that be your prayer. Heavenly Father, have mercy on me from neglecting my heart. I come to you with a humble mind. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy. Let's cry out for his mercy. Let's cry out for his mercy. Take a moment and just cry out for his mercy. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, O God. Have mercy on us, God. Cry out for His mercy. Cry out for His mercy. We need it. We need this mercy as never before. Cry out for His mercy, mighty God. We cry out for Your mercy this hour. Have mercy on us, O God. O God, if we say we have not seen, we are liars. Have mercy on us, O God. If we say we have not transgressed, we are lying. Lord, have mercy on us, O God. God, have mercy on us today. We ask for your mercy. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. My God will bless you. We honor you. We ask for your mercy, mighty God. The word of the Lord says in Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22. It says, through the Lord mercies, we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your compassion towards us. Thank you for they are new every morning. Oh, they are new every morning. They are new every day. Today receive fresh mercy. We receive fresh mercy. We receive fresh grace. We receive it today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Now I want you, before we go into go towards the declaration, I want you to begin to pray this prayer. The man of God uh, I quoted the scripture, Psalm 51, verse 10, the Psalm of David, Psalm 51, verse 10, the Psalm of David. David says, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. So let's just take a moment and say, Father, create in me a clean heart, O God. God can give you a clean heart. Not just, not just a clean heart. God can even give you a new heart. Some of you hearing the sound of our voice this morning, you might be going through heart condition. In a moment, I'm going to ask the man of God to come and pray 
for those who are having a heart condition. I just sense that in my spirit. Those who are having heart condition, maybe you, you, you have irregular heartbeats or you have issues with your heart, heart condition, get ready to receive your healing. Mighty God will bless you. Man of God, if you could please just pray for those who are having heart condition, that the power of God will touch them this moment and heal their heart. Amen. I want to share a verse of scripture before we do this. Amen. Uh, in, in, in Christmas morning, I was in San Francisco, and the pillar of God's presence was next to my bed, and the angel of the Lord appeared unto me. And he spoke to me, you are directed to read the book of Isaiah. And he said it three times, you're directed to read the book of Isaiah. And I got up early, and the only place open was like a McDonald's. And I went in, and I got uh, a cup of coffee. I hadn't been in a McDonald's in 10 years. And I opened up my laptop, and I opened up to Isaiah chapter 1. And I encourage you to read the book of Isaiah, specifically chapter 1. And it talks about America right now. We match Isaiah chapter 1, and it's a hopeless, helpless situation until you get down to verse 25, and this ties in with the heart. It says in verse 25, I will turn my hand against you and thoroughly purge away your dross and take away all your alloy. That's the New King James Version, and the King James Version says this in verse 25, Isaiah 1, verse 25, and I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin. And there's some things that have happened over the last four years that caused some heavy metals to come into our bodies, some things that aren't of value. And God showed me he's about to wipe the heavy metals out of our bodies supernaturally because they didn't come out of choice for us. It came as a package deal, and we weren't told. So we're going to pray that God now removes and purges all the dross and also takes away all of our tin, which are metals that don't have value. They're filler. So let's go ahead and put our hands on our heart or on our forehead. If you've had pains in your body that don't make sense, they're chronic, they don't go away, God is getting ready to do a supernatural move of his hand, and he's going to remove the tin from you in an instant, the metals, the alloys, and every spike protein and everything that's not to be there that wasn't designed for you. In the name of Jesus, some of you are also just going to put your hand on the top of your head, the pate of your head. Some of you are going to put your hand on your stomach. Others are going to put it on their hearts. God's getting ready to do a very powerful work right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the shed blood of the Lamb, we apply it now to the doorposts and the lintels. I command the root cause of all heart problems all palpitations. I command thyroids to be healed. I command nodules to come off of the thyroid now in Jesus' name. I break off Hashimoto's disease. I break every spike protein out of the body. I command you out of the blood system. I command you out of their family and their bloodline. I command you to go, to go, to go, and I command, in accordance with Nahum 1.9, affliction shall not rise up a second time. I command you to go and never return again, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken, and I speak Isaiah. Psalm 68.1, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered, and I release the angels now of healing and creative miracles. Right now, I speak for deaf ears to be open. I command the trauma to be broken. I command vision to be restored. I command capillaries to begin to function as they were designed in Adam before the fall and Christ after the resurrection. I call forth your brand new DNA to come to the forefront. Spirit man, I command you to come to the forefront. Soul, I command you to line up in second position behind the spirit and body. I command you to go into your third position behind the soul. 
as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons and the daughters of God. I call for sonship on the inside of you. Yes. Let God arise on the inside of you and his enemies be scattered. The enemies of sickness and disease be scattered. The enemies of heart situations be scattered. I command your body to line up and to return to its intended design in accordance with what's been written for you in the scrolls from before the foundation of the world. I reactivate the scrolls and that which was spoken over your life from before the foundation of the world that was in the heart of the Father for you to fulfill destiny in the earth. And I declare your assignment shall be completed before you take your last breath here and your first breath there in an instant. But until then, I release the anointing, the energy, my power for you to finish the course with strength. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Mighty God, we bless you. And the people of God just go. Hallelujah. Thank him this morning. Thank him this morning. Thank him this morning. Thank you, Jesus. We receive it. We receive it. We are healed. We receive it, my God. God will bless you. As we are about to conclude this morning's session, I make this declaration over you in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that you have a pure heart. I decree and declare that you have a new heart. I decree and declare that your heart will produce good things. I decree and declare that your heart will seek the Lord. I decree and declare that your heart will not be broken again. I decree and declare that your heart will be well. I decree and declare that your heart will experience wholeness. I decree and declare that your heart will have the heartbeat of our Heavenly Father. I decree and declare that your heart will beat with the right frequency. I decree and declare that your heart will be in sync with the heart of our Heavenly Father. I decree and declare all these things in Jesus' mighty name. You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you so light will shine on your ways. Mighty God will bless you. Mighty God will honor you. Mighty God, we adore you. Thank you for all that you have done for us. We are grateful. We are grateful. We are grateful. Mighty God will bless you. In the next 30 seconds, I just want us to just go ahead and give a big thanks to the man of God. I got to hear your voice. Let's just do this. Thank you. Just a thank you, thank you, Dr. David. Thank you, Dr. David. And your precious wife, Johanna. We thank both of you for coming to bless us this morning. Thank you, mighty God. Father, we just want to David and uh, his precious wife, Johanna. We speak your blessings over them. We speak your blessings over them in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will continue to use them mightily to do great and mighty things around the world. Thank you, Father. Dr. David and your precious wife, Johanna, we thank God for you. Thank you so much, sir, for coming to bless us this morning. Amen. We love you in summer and we love the congregation. Thank you all. Amen. God bless you. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah.
we give you all the praise. Father, we thank you for today. As we continue our fasting and prayer, Lord, let your grace be upon us. Let your glory be upon us. Thank you for the new heart you have given us. We will walk in this dimension. Lord, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you adoration. Ladies and gentlemen, you are blessed. The glory of God is upon you. You are victorious. Victory is yours. No one can stop you because you are unstoppable. Uh, corruption will not touch you because you are incorruptible. Death will not touch you because life is upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, go and be victorious. Go and have dominion. Go and be flourished and flourishing. We love you. God bless you all, and everyone go ahead and say it loud, Amen. 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 Amen.